all right guys i have here tips for you on how to enjoy the summer without spending that much money So I have here my notes just for me to remember because I kind of forgot things very, very fast. So number one here is for you to look the deal online. So me, what I do is I do go to Groupons, Rakuten, Rakuten, I'm going to explain that to you later in other videos, but it's a way for you to get cash back by buying stuff online. So I did get my money on that from purchasing stuff from Noah's Ark through Groupon. So that is number, that is the things that you can do. And also things that you can do is visit their websites. So do, just do a little bit on research. There is advantage and disadvantage on this. So purchasing your stuff online is you know you can save money by doing that but then the disadvantage on that is you purchase it in so advanced that sometimes you change you have changes in plans so that ruins things but anyway those groupons that i've been using has expiration on it like the one on noah's art i can use it any time during the summer so i can use it from from the time I purchase it. Oh, I mean, I can use it by the time it opens. So Noah's Ark only opens during the summer. And then at the end of the September, but I think it's like September 19, that's when the season closes. So anyway, that is a pretty good deal to do that, which I will show you guys our video when we go to Noah's Ark. So number two is to bring your food. So me and Claude, usually we go to parks here and bring our food. So not all, not all businesses allowed food. Actually, not none of them allow them. But there are ways for you, you can enjoy your summer by going to parks, right? This park here right now, it is very beautiful. It's near the water and also, you know, when you're bringing your food, it requires a little bit work. You have to grill, you have to prepare at home, you have to bring your charcoal. You have to do things like that, but then, you know, you can save money. Or you can just go eat in the resorts. There is a resort here or any other places. Like if you go to the Devils, like there's a place you can eat in there, you know. You can just buy your food but yeah it's gonna be more expensive but if you don't want to work that's what you can do anyway we're talking about you eating you know when we when you go to those parks public parks where you don't have to pay anything so it's a choice you can make if you really want to save money enjoying the summer you can just just like what i said you can bring all the food or you can just go eat where restaurants or places to eat and number three here for our number three is look for beautiful places or beautiful park for free online so me and Claude usually we go to Devil's Lake it's beautiful it's free all you need to pay for is the parking and we just bring our food and then here at Newport Park in the Dells, you have to drive. I don't know how far you are from the Dells, but this park here is so beautiful. You can do a lot of stuff in here. The park that is near water is the Governor Nelson Park. It has not that big swimming area, but it's near water, so it's pretty there. And they got picnic, you know, where you can grill things like that anyway if we're gonna if we have find more parks to add we're just gonna add it on our later video if you are near water you can if you have a boat or a kayak you can rent a kayak 
I don't know how much the kaya cost yet. I haven't asked, but I need to find out how much it is. But me and Claude, we have a kayak. So what we can do, just chug the kayak of if your car, if you can mount something in your car, you can just mount it in your car and, you know, place your kayak there, go somewhere, go kayaking. Or other things you can do with the water is go swimming, which me and Claude, we, we like swimming at the Devil's Lake. It's a pretty place and it has a clean water. Clean water is a great thing to consider too when you go swimming. You can also do fishing. So to go fishing, you need to have a license. Well, it's not that expensive, but yeah, you can do swimming, kayaking, and fishing at the same time if you are near the water. Or you can just go to the water, not the pool. Pool can offer that, it's just swimming. And number four, you wanna plan a trip for just a day. So having it for just a day is a saving time because if you want to stay for like two days or three days, you're going to be like having to rent a hotel or, you know, go pay for a night to stay, which just chuck up your, your price, you know, when you are, when you are spending or enjoying your summer. So hotels are really expensive. I don't know how, I don't know the, the lowest price you can pay for a hotel, but I would think you, you have to spend a, at least $100 to stay in here or any other places. But let's see how much is the cheapest price you can stay to pay for a hotel. But anyway, if you are, if you really want to enjoy the summer, just you know, and don't want to spend that much money, it is very important to just plan it for a day and just, just go back. But now I'm in a beautiful place. I don't know with the other states, guys. I haven't been in other states. But right now where I am is I'm in Wisconsin. So I'm like surrounded with mountains and a lot of lakes in here. So this is a very beautiful place where I'm at. So I don't know the other states, because if you are from other state, guys, you have to travel from other state, which means you have to rent a hotel. But if you want to rent a hotel here, here in Wisconsin Dells, usually if you rent a hotel here, it comes with the water parks that you can enjoy. Number five, go to the festivals near you. So one festival that I can recommend with you guys is the Dodge County Fair. They got track poles, any, they got sports going on down there. They got track poles, smash up derby, which I haven't watched by the way. And the other one too is the corn festival. It's not that big, but you know, you can enjoy the summer by going to those festivals. Atwood Fest is not that big, but it's by the near downtown Madison, so you can enjoy that one too. The other one too is the Brat Festival. Brat Festival is, uh, I wasn't, I didn't expect that to be that big when, by just its title, it's just about a brat. But then when you go to that place, it is huge festival, guys. Lots of people and they got live music you can enjoy so anyway although going to this festival what going on right now is a risk a little bit risk but you can really enjoy it it is fun guys so that is all guys i hope you find these points interesting and if you guys have additional or any information i can be useful of you know or any recommendation that I can put on my future videos I would like to hear that from you guys and that is all for today I will see you next time